Hi everyone. I am doing a box opening of a smart doll that I did on layaway through um, Fabric and Friends, the uh, authorized retailer of smart dolls in the U.S. It just uh, came today. Trying to get their address in there. You can see Fabric and Friends uh, from Maryland. I have had this doll on layaway for about six months. So I started uh, paying for it back in January and I was on a waiting list for it. Um, I think November, December, somewhere in there. Um, so they just made the last layaway payment and then they shipped out like Wednesday and it got here to me today on Friday. Um, I'm kind of excited for this one. God, I am not having luck with dolls these days. Um, Fuji just doesn't want to stand up for me anymore. I even put out her stand today so that she would stay up and she still doesn't want to. I don't know why. I don't know. Uh, anyway, kind of excited for this doll. It's a little different than my other dolls and you'll see why shortly. Um, This is kind of an exciting thing for me because I've already kind of thought about what I'm going to, what kind of name I'm going to give and um, kind of like just a little bit of backstory for this doll. Um, and today I think it'll be kind of helpful for me because I've had a little bit of a um, difficult day today um, with just some health news for my son. Um, but anyway, this is the receipt from them, and they kept a uh, record of all the payments that I made. Um, yeah, I ordered, I placed the order in January, at the end of January of this year, and I had been on a waiting list. Um, so, anyway, in their shipment box they used is just the um, smart doll box inside of it. So, let me lift this out and get this bigger box out of the way if I can. There we go. Um, looks like a standard smart doll shaped box, but I actually don't see any um, insignia on it, which is different. Uh, there is a sticker at the top to indicate which doll it is, but that's it. No smart doll logo, so I don't know. That's okay. Quite certain it's authentic, so I'm not worried about that. Um, they just use a light piece of brown tape, so I'm just going to go ahead and take that off because it peels right off. And inside, um... Even though this is a new doll for me, like I said, I ordered it back in January and was on a waiting list, so this doesn't have one of those new, um, or those different uh, canvas bags. It's still the classic uh, kind of tote with like the um, kind of plastic material there. I'm not exactly sure what that material is. It's probably some type of coated material, right? Because it has like that plastic feel to it, but it's still like a fabric. I don't know what that's called. Anyway, same. Same bag as always. Um, the same, same packaging box doll. I'm hiding the names, but you guys still have to be waiting. <laughs> and when I post this video, I'll make it like a mystery until people have had a chance to watch it, then I'll change the name. Um, same Culture Japan box on the inside. Smart doll. Uh, Smart Doll and the uh, Culture Japan logo. Um, there really isn't much in here, but I actually have a ton of stuff for this doll that I've been like um, buying in preparation for receiving him. <laughs> Did I just give away a clue? Um, regular old Mirai postcard, wig, and stand. And then also. Um, from Fabric Friends and Dolls, their business card. So, um, I know people lately, a few people I've been watching, um, 
like I, I think I want to say kitten cat I've been watching your videos and I know you were lucky enough to make a couple trips up there um, I'm not really anywhere close to there um, but I was lucky enough to order from um, uh, Iris through email and it was very easy very simple process just did a automatic payment every month for um, my layaway and then when the last layaway payment was processed an email was sent letting me know that my doll was on my way or on this way it's right <laughs> I've given it away already haven't I okay it's a boy and it's Gemini right that's the really the only boy that's been recently available so let's take a look at him um, so yes very different from the rest of my dolls um, because it's boy um, I wonder how all of my girls will feel about this the most unique girl that I have or the most unique smart doll I have besides Gemini now who's the only boy is my um, Belle who's my three-eyed girl right and then Zephyr is the one that is the only T girl so far we'll see about that I have birthday coming up um, okay so here he is wrapped up you can see some cute red boxes in there Fuji don't be shy <laughs> Fuji's never shy um, all right so let's do the classic unbending and straightening up here I've come to appreciate that moment in the smart doll openings just where people like flatten their doll out and get them ready to uh, bring out I don't know why it's just it's just as a it's in every single video right we have to open them up and get them out oh wow okay so everybody always says in like new new people to smart doll I always say gosh they're so big right I would never thought that because I started with um, Volks Dolphy Dreams and Dolphy Dreams are pretty much the same size um, but I have heard people say that the boy smart dolls are slightly taller than the girls and um, I would say I'd have to agree with that so Fuji there is in some um, tennis shoes that make her just the slightest bit taller not too much and she's actually kind of leaning back because I have her on that stand even though she took a dive again um, he's in cinnamon skin tone and he's got um, gosh it's kind of dark here uh, blue eyes and like brown and black kind of um, eyebrows eyelashes that sort of thing very light um, color to his lips like just barely there and then it has kind of like the black line to indicate um, a part in his lips um, the boxers are really cute I like them um, so in comparison to feed Fuji he's like head cap taller right so this is like the head cap width maybe half an inch taller he's kind of on tippy toes let's say yeah maybe a third of an inch I don't know just the slightest bit taller um, He's definitely um, a different feel as far as like uh, the muscles and all that and I know people have said in their various um, reviews of the smart doll boys that um, sometimes the arms are difficult to move um, and I know maybe that that might be one of the reasons that the boys are going for a re-sculpt um, but I mean, look at him. He's pretty fantastic. Um, this, at the back of his head, it has G01. So that's the Gemini sculpt, right? Um, or Genesis sculpt, I think. Um, and they reused it for the boy. Um, I would have to compare. Gosh, look at, he was going to take a dive too. I'm just not having luck with my dolls lately for standing up during videos. Um, he's got the same socket in his lower back. Obviously, he has boxer shorts instead of, um, like, regular, like, V-cut underwear that the girls wear. And, of course, no bra. <laughs> It'd be fun if they provided, like, a little tank top or something, but that's, like, an article clothing, right? So, just basic undergarments. Um, definitely a difference in the feel of just all those rippling muscles. Look at that. <laughs> um... So, let's see, let me get his little goodie box here. I'm just gonna put him in a kneeling position because I just don't trust myself with um, these uh, dolls. I'm just not having luck with them 
standing upright for me. So here he is. Gosh, she is big. Well, maybe it just feels that way because the girls are so skinny and petite, right? Um, so cinnamon skin tone stand. I'm not gonna put that on him, but let's try on the wig that comes with. So this is his uh, Gemini wig, which um, is the same as the um, Genesis wig, right? For the um, cinnamon skin tone Genesis, it's that short brown um, bob. So, <laughs> sorry, I have some like music on in the background for my TV and it's like kind of a little louder than I realized. Um, okay, let's see. You know, I was thinking about wigs and how they're sent and this is just a side note. I, I received that wig that I did a review for not too long ago from a wig maker, um, like a custom wig maker and she sent it in saran wrap instead of the nets and it was a, re a very um, curly wig. It had big fat ringlets that were very smooth and very precise. And I think that wrapping it in the saran wrap like that um, made it safely to me better than the net because the net tends to pull little fibers away when you take it off the wig, right? Um, it may not necessarily matter on a less styled wig, um, but I, I just, I liked it. I appreciated the fact that a person who puts, who makes their art by um, making custom wigs um, chose to use saran wrap as, as opposed to the net because it definitely um, made it. All right, let's see if I can get this wig. <laughs> um, all right, let's see. And this, so this is the wig that comes with them, right? But I have wanted a boy like anime style doll for the longest time um not necessarily okay this is not <laughs> very good very nicely put on but let's see if I can free up some of those fibers okay I don't know he's like a little surfer boy or something I don't know how they style it on Smart Doll. There he is, okay. So, um, he looks pretty cute with that wig, but um, the reason that I wanted an anime style boy character for forever was because I actually wanted to make a character from an anime that I really love. Here, let me give you a quick face-up, a close-up of his face. So you can see his, like, blue eyes. There you go. Uh, it's not very well lit in here, but his eyes are blue. And, like, I suppose you could kind of style him any way you want. I'm not the best at styling. <laughs> I don't know. He's cute, though. Nice physique. Can't complain with that. So, anyway, the reason I wanted an anime style boy is because I wanted to make the character of um, Fi or Faye D. Florite from the manga and anime by Clamp called Subasa Reservoir Chronicles. Um, he is like a magician who actually has. Um, another universe version of Chi and Freya um, from Chobits as like his magical aid or something and so I thought it would be fantastic to um, get a boy anime style doll and make him into that character and if I am brave enough or if I can figure out how um, put that really fantastic um, tattoo that he has. It's basically his, the source of his magic um, on his back and arms. It's like a huge tattoo and it covers like his entire back and the back of his arms and it kind of wraps around. It's fantastic and I really, really um, would love to make this doll into that character. Um, and therefore, of course, make those alternate universe Chi and Freya's because you know I have my Volks um, 
Chi and Freya from Chobits that I love dearly. They're my most precious dolls. Um, but to get something more, a little bit more uh, like vinyl, because those two are, are actually resin. They're not vinyl, even though they are like um, from Volks. They're like the beginning of like their Delphi Dream line. Um, I wanted to do Chi and Freya again in um, vinyl, and maybe I can make them out of some smart dolls. Or at least um, use my two maybe um, chaos heads um, and just put them on as like uh, temporaries to match with him if I can get him to be five. So anyway, this is him out of the box, out of the bag um, from Smart Doll. Um, the rest of the things that I have um, for him are all either mostly bought secondhand um, or bought even before I even owned Smart Dolls and considered them. Um, all in the preparation of making that character, but I did get some clothes from Smart Doll World or other sources to just make him into a cute Smart Doll boy because, of course, they're just very uh, contemporary kind of dolls and they're very stylish. Um, so instead of dark brown, I have this wig, um, which I bought forever ago. It's a very similar concept as that. It's like, um, a light brown or light blonde um, kind of bob. So I'm just gonna put it on him and see how it looks. Um, Fi's character in Subasa has blue eyes, so luckily I won't have to change his eyes. Um, and this wig might be too big because I had originally intended it for a Volk's head. Um, actually, fits just fine. I might have to style it a little bit. Fi has like very like flyaway hair, so I'd have to like kind of do it up in chunks. I was actually thinking I would like to try my hand at um, like uh, a yarn wig where you can kind of tease those fibers into certain shapes. Um, and this has just barely the smallest little bit of a tail, um, which not to give away that storyline if anybody was ever interested, but. He eventually uh, has something happen to him in the story where his looks kind of change and he gets like slightly um, longer hair. So anyway, blonde looks good on him, I think. Um, that's pretty exciting. I have a standard old pair of sneakers that you can get from just about anywhere. Um, you know, eBay, five bucks. I got like a whole bunch of them many years ago and I just use them on whoever needs them. Um, I did want to try, so, uh, I just actually got a lot of secondhand items from another, um, Smart Doll owner. They were selling some items through one of the BJ, or one of the Smart Doll Facebook groups, and so, um, I just, I was like, I, I have one shirt that I bought for him a long, long time ago when I first started the, um, layaway for him, and it's this nice little like baseball style shirt it's just like light blue and like gray but it's long sleeve and I don't want to put him in long sleeve for summer um this I forget where I got this from which Etsy seller but they have some fantastic clothes it could be I don't know I don't even remember but I did a review for this at one point or I posted some pictures about this and I'm, I'm certain it'll fit and it'll look great more for fall or winter um, but I wanted to see if some of the um, shirts that are more geared towards girl body t shapes might fit on him okay. I mean, they're mostly stretchy, so they'd probably be okay. This one is from um, Doll Remy. I've actually considered buying it from them, but I never did. And somebody was selling it secondhand with some other smart doll items. So I bought this, and even though I think it would look really great on Zephyr, my T Genesis, because she's going with like the earthy colors. I thought it'd be nice to maybe try it on him, but just looking at the back of him, his shoulders are so broad, this may not fit. I mean, it would stretch. It might look good because it'd be really tight and kind of show off those rippling pectorals. <laughs> um, but we'll see. I'll try that on in just a second. Um, I do have uh, actual Culture Japan, Culture Japan, like white, just nice white t-shirt. I think that's what they're referred to as. Um, it could fit. I mean, 
similar, I mean, actually the seam lines for the shoulders line up perfectly, and that's not even stretching it, so maybe that might look good on him. Um, I have uh, some more shoes, the um, gray tripwire boots. I really love the color gray, and I think that would look good on him. I have that gray shirt. The only thing I'm not sure about is the heels. I'm not sure I want him to have heeled shoes because he's already a little bit taller than the girls. I'm not sure I want to make him taller, but I really love these boots, and I hope I can figure out who they would be best for eventually. Um, I have one of those turbo joints. I think he deserves some more action shots than just the standard stand. I know I have some of those clicky clacky stands and we'll try those too, but I figured I could dedicate this directly to him. Um, I also, this was part of, um, somebody was selling these. I don't think this was in the same seller that sold me the couple of t-shirts, um, but a pair of those brown um, vinyl shoes. I think they might be from the Kia's outlet or if they were older, I don't know. These also have heels. Um, oh yeah, and they're definitely like kind of hard plastic if you can hear that. Um, and I just recently read that somebody suggested when you're putting these on the shoes to warm them up a little bit with like the hair dryer. Um, they do have like a um, split in the back so you can kind of open it up to slip them over the foot. But they are pretty firm, so yeah, it wouldn't hurt to do like uh, warming them up a little bit. But these might look better on him. Um, but they still have a pretty pretty sizable heel. It's like a standard height heel that I've noticed on all the shoes that I've gotten from Culture Japan, which is not a lot. It's actually just these and um, like the crystal boots have about the same height on the heel. Um, so I might try these on him, but again with the heels I might just stick with basic sneakers. I thought about ordering a couple of other pairs of um, like tennis shoe type sneaker canvas things from various Etsy uh, sales and I, I have my eye on a couple that I would like to get. Um, so this was actually the first piece of clothing that I got him specifically um, before I even had ordered him. I'm like someday I'm gonna get a boy. So I ordered the Hiroshima jeans for him. I had them for a long time. I never tried them on any of my girls. I always told myself they would be for a boy. So at least he has some pants and maybe some shirts that fit. And even though I want to make him into that character, Fi Florite from Clamps series, um, I actually have a name picked out for him. It's not going to be Fi. <laughs> um, I, it, it came to me as kind of an inspiration when I was, um, actually when I got these, um, the Genesis glasses. So they're really cute. They're, they're just the frames. They don't have lenses. But they actually have the CJ logo, like, carved into the stem. Um, and I didn't realize that, I don't think, when I ordered them. But when I got them, I saw that. It kind of made me think about um, what I would like to call my boy. And I knew I wanted the glasses for him because um, my son... Uh, has to wear glasses, so I figured I would try to kind of make this doll as like in honor of my son, um, but also in honor of my dad who passed away earlier this year. Um, of course, I love my husband and I always try to honor him, but this is kind of special for me. So, you know, my dad's passing was kind of unexpected. Um, it wasn't COVID or anything like that, but it was at a time when I think the um, healthcare systems were being overstressed, and sometimes I wonder if he didn't get the best care, but that's besides the point. My dad's name, my, his nickname was Gene. It started with the letter G, but I'm, I have um, Jeannie B. Hartline, my little angel Philia, that I named after him. She's, her name starts with a J, and then I thought that the J in Culture Japan could stand for Gene too. So I had the second part of the name. And the first letter, C, right, for culture. There's lots of my kiddo talking in the background. Um, C is the first letter of my son's first name. His name is Corbin. And he's right there messing with the goodies box off screen. Um, so I was looking at these glasses when I got them home and I'm like, oh, there's the logo, the CJ. And I'm like, oh my gosh, Corbin Gene. 
right? So my son and my dad. So this boy's name is officially Corbin Jean, and I'm going to call him CJ for short. I think it's so perfect. Like anything that I can get that has CJ on it from Culture Japan is going to be perfect for him, right? His name is CJ, short for Corbin Jean. Um, um, honoring my son and my dad. And the reason that I wanted glasses for him. Uh oh. Uh oh. Hey, kiddo, I need that. I need this. Here, you can have that. Um, sorry, I'm going on and on here. No, my son just moved the video so it fell over. The reason I wanted glasses for Corbin Jean here is because my son does wear glasses, and the reason he wears glasses um, is because he has Lowe's Syndrome. Yes, I'm throwing a cause out there in my videos, and I don't really have that many followers. I don't, I won't reach that many people, but if you're curious about it, look it up. It's um, L-O-W-E. It affects um, the brain, the eyes, and the kidney. The eyes, of course, is why they have to end up wearing um, glasses. It's a super rare um, genetic disorder, and there's no cure for it. Um, so I, I'm part of a, an association that looks out for people that have this syndrome. Um, but this guy right here, CJ, is going to kind of be my mascot to help me remember to continue to do what I can to make the lives of young men who have this um, syndrome better in any way I can. And he's going to be there as a constant reminder for me. Every time I see CJ now, I'm going to think of Corbin Jean. And I'm going to think of Lowe Syndrome. And I'm going to keep hoping and praying that there is a cure for it. Um, so, without further ado, let me try on a couple pieces of clothes here and these glasses. Oh, and also I got this bracelet. Um, the CJ bracelet, which also has the CJ logo in it. So he's got two little CJ things right, right off the bat. Um, I don't know if one of those um, CJ logo t-shirts um, for the girls would fit on him. But if this white one does, maybe the gray ones would too. I don't know. So let's just try this white one on and see how it looks on him. It's a v-neck. Um, oh, that's interesting. It has like a little piece of tissue in there. I wonder if that was from the person I bought it off of or if that's how it comes from Smart Doll. I don't know. So, uh, gosh, his arms are ginormous. So let's see. How would be best to get this shirt on? I'm gonna pop his head off, I think. Just as easy as the girls, right? You just pop it right off. Um, let's see if I can. I'm gonna take his hands off too. I might um, leave the arms on. Um, just because then I can kind of judge if these sleeves are gonna fit when I pull them down over it, over his arms. Let's see. I mean, his waist is certainly slim enough to fit this, but um, the arms, it might be difficult to. Oh yeah, I don't even know if I'll be able to like stretch this far enough to get this over. Well, maybe. Let's see if I can do it. Anyway, so that was me rambling on about a cause that has nothing to do with smart dolls. And thank you to those who have continued to watch. Um, yeah, I threw it out there, and I'll probably keep doing that every time I post about this um, big, beautiful guy, because now he's kind of going to be my mascot. Um, oh, wow, this is tight. He's got such big shoulder muscles. All right, I'm going to have to bring him a little closer and do a little effort here. Let's see. Pull it down. It's kind of stretching the shirt out, but you know what? That's okay. Maybe it would have been better to take his arms off after all. I don't know. Because it's definitely a squeeze over those big old shoulders. Well, so, I don't know. It's tight. Can I move the sleeves back down? I mean, the V-neck looks kind of weird. It's less of a V-neck and more of like a boat neck, I guess you could say. Because just because his chest is so broad, I don't know. That doesn't really look that good on him. Like it fits, just barely. <laughs> That's my kiddo. He's almost in every single video. Which one? What do you want? Oh, here you go. 
Oh. Now he's blocking this again. Um, I don't know. That doesn't look that good. It's too tight, I think. Um, and I don't want to risk taking these um, arms off. I'm not going to struggle with it now, but I might try to try on um, a different shirt. But I do want to see if I can put this bracelet on him. The CJ bracelet. If you guys have ever considered this bracelet, um, you can see there it has, well, I don't know if you can see it, but there is the logo. And I'm just going to slip it onto his right wrist. Actually, it doesn't quite fit. Nope. It's not going to go. Poo. That's too bad. I was so hoping that I'd be able to have this for him. I guess, let's see. Let me make sure I put the right hand back on here. See how it would look if it was just between, like, the wrist and the hand. I don't know. There's like a gap. I put it between, like, like as I left it as a gap. Because it doesn't slip over his wrist. His wrist is too big. Hmm. Well, man, he's a big guy. So <laughs> all the standard stuff that you get for smart dolls is just not working for him. So let's see. I'm just going to put these glasses on him because these should fit. They're just pretty flexible. And I want to see how he looks with glasses. He's probably going to look super cute. Let's see. Yep, he looks pretty darn cute. <laughs> Here's his head floating by. There's his glasses. Heck, he could almost be pulling off the, um, like the Clark Kent look, right? And be the uh, intrepid import reporter that's reporting on the new um, appearances of Supergirl, right? I don't know if those two ever cross storylines. All right, let's see. This wig is definitely needing a little bit of tender loving care. I've had it for probably at least a couple of years. I don't know. It's kind of like poofy on one side. Yeah, this shirt is not going to work for him. It's giving him kind of a <laughs> belly there. Um, so there he is. He's pretty cool. He's a big guy. Slightly taller, definitely more broad-shouldered, um, bigger wrists. So this jewelry doesn't quite fit, but we'll see how it how it looks. It'll be okay. Um, so anyway, Corbin Jean. Um, I'm gonna put on the rest of the clothes off video because I'm already going over half an hour here. Um, but thank you so much for watching, and I hope you'll enjoy seeing pictures of him with my girls in. Um, the coming days ahead. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.